What's up, lords and ladies? Welcome back to another video on this channel. Whoa, dude, calm down. Now, right here in front of me, I got Floyd. Now, a lot of you guys may recognize him because he was the bearded dragon in which had all of those stuck for moral pores that I basically made a video talking about them as well as showcasing them. Now, I really wanted to make a video update on him because a, first, he was a rescue where I got him, and lately he's been going through this weird transition of shedding. And if you look at his for moral pores, well, dude, okay, calm down, calm down. Just trying to showcase the viewers. Hey, all right, all right, all right. If you see the bottom of his tail, he still has a little bit of those stuck for moral pores, as well as, well, dude, dude, dude. Dude, calm down. He's freaking out. He's definitely not enjoying this. But he also has a little bit of that stuck, what looks like some sort of sperm plug, which is kind of gross. And I'm just gently pointing this, like, poking at it. I don't want to just yank it out. Yeah, this is kind of gross. <laughs> Sorry that you guys have to see this. Um, but like I said, he was a rescue. And I'm just going to gently pull this out. It's not going to harm him. But you could see. Well, dude, okay, okay. He does not like that. All right, dude. All right, all right. Dude, I'm just going to take this off, okay? Because it's, you know, it could get infected. So I'm just going to pull this out. And it is not poop. Now, like I was saying before, sometimes male bearded dragons have complications as they get older. Some of these femoral pores sometimes get clogged. They can get also get infected, as well as sometimes male bearded dragons even get clogged up sperm plugs. And as you can see, he basically has one right here sticking out. So I'm just going to gently pull it out. Now, this isn't harming him, but it is somewhat gross you could see that right there was that sperm plug that i was talking about and bearded dragons have basically hemipenes running up the tail um they actually have two hemipenes which is basically a male's you know what <laughs> like what <laughs> so males have these two running up and sometimes they get clogged up in this case i might be able to gently if I'm careful, almost squeeze. Now I'm just gonna gently massage this area because I do feel something hard, which shouldn't be there. And you could kind of see a bit of that sperm plug and some sperm basically there. And like I said, this isn't a type of video that is pleasing. So definitely, you know, Keep your eyes away from the TV if you are squimish. But yeah, I'm just massaging this area because it does feel a bit hard. But I got some of that stuck sperm that was basically there. Just gonna get the remaining out. I think this is what I was feeling. Sorry, dude, I know it's uncomfortable. Yeah, that right there. Um, and like I mentioned, not all bearded dragons have that. Some bearded dragons, they don't have issues with that. But sometimes you would just run into bearded dragons who just get clogged up sperm plugs. And it's not a good thing for ball pythons. You could more or less take them out just by popping them. But with bearded dragons, you really can't, you know, pop out their hemipenes. But sometimes if you feel their tail, it will just be like a really hard rock is what I could basically explain these sperm plugs being. And for the most part, you could also take them in to the vet to get them checked out. But since that one was sticking out, I basically was able to take it out. And now these femoral pores, they also do look like they need some help. And I'm not gonna yank them out. I'm going to see if I can massage them at least. Now, like I mentioned in the past, you can soften these up through warm baths as well as help them out a little bit. But um, I just really wanted to showcase basically Floyd and his process. Um, I did manage to take off some of that, you know, stuck sperm. <laughs> and unfortunately, sometimes males, especially through breeding season, they get that. And 
you know, for the most part, it doesn't cause them any harm. They can just easily take it off. But sometimes what ends up happening is it gets too hard and it, it basically could cause them to get infected. But this is such a rare case I would see in Bearded Dragons. You don't see it too often, but sometimes from time to time you do see basically that sperm, hardened sperm, basically just sitting off outside of the tail. So I just wanted to showcase that and make this quick video. Oh, sorry, dude. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. If you guys have any further questions, definitely let me know. I will be making an update video on that. But for now, I'm going to place him back. Um, possibly just take him a quick bath. That way he is nice and clean. But for that, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Learned a thing or two. I'm Lord Lion. Keep the blood pumping. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button.